Philip Schofield reluctantly declined his invitation to be interviewed in a probe into a toxic working environment at this morning, a bombshell report has revealed. The investigation was brought about by Schofield admitting to having an unwise but not illegal affair with a younger male colleague. The findings of the external review, published today, found that ITV made considerable efforts to investigate Philip's relationship with a younger ITV colleague. The report from the external review reveals that Philip reluctantly declined to take part in an interview with Jane Mulcahy KC due to his health. The report states, a letter from PS's solicitor, Jonathan Code at Code Law, dated August 4, 2023, stated that PS reluctantly declined D. My invitation to participate in the review because of the risk to his health. I am informed that PS's mental health has since deteriorated. The unnamed person Philip had the affair with also declined to take part as the report adds, as to PX, by an email from solicitors Mishkandaria dated August 10, 2023, I was informed that PX wanted to move on with his life and was not prepared to assist with this review. I inquired again on October 24, 2023. I received an email from Mishkanda Rea on November 1, 2023 stating that PX had already made his position clear. Philip's lawyer said in June he would expect Philip fully to cooperate with any formal inquiry, but that he had not been approached yet. The investigation was launched following the scandal surrounding long-serving presenter Philip Schofield. Philip, 61 left this morning following a string of reports and speculation of a feud between himself and co-host Holly Willoughby. Days later, he quit ITV altogether as he admitted he had an unwise but not illegal affair with a younger colleague. The fallen TV star also admitted to lying about the relationship to his wife, agent and viewers, as well as this morning colleagues, too. Following the scandal, which broke in May this year, ITV instructed a lawyer to look into how the affair and Phil's exit was handled. The report also adds that the unnamed runner's promotion from this morning to Loose Women had nothing to do with Philip, Mulcahy found. The report also states that only one person interviewed by Mulcahy had knowledge of the affair, and are said to have found out in 2021, but did not report their knowledge at time. The broadcaster's chief executive Dame Caroline McCall revealed earlier this year ITV had looked into rumors an affair between Philip and an unnamed colleague had started in late 2019, but those involved denied the claims and continued to as recently as the same month as Phil's admission. It is also understood that one of the areas Mulcahy may have investigated is as to whether HR were involved, or indeed alerted at all, in the investigations undertaken by ITV. A source said in June, it's an area that will be looked at. No stone will be left unturned. Also in June, ITV boss Magnus Brook was questioned by MPs at the Culture, Media and Sport Committee about unhappy staff at this morning and claims of bullying at the daytime show. During the hearing, Brook admitted that comments by Martin Frizzell were extremely ill-judged after the This Morning editor referred to aubergines when asked about allegations of a toxic work environment on the program. Frizzell was approached by Sky News ahead of presenter Holly Willoughby's return to this morning following the furor over Philip Schofield's departure from ITV after he admitted having an affair with a younger colleague. Asked if there is a toxic work environment on the show, the editor replied, I'll tell you what's toxic, and I've always found it toxic, aubergine. Do you like aubergine? Do you? Do you like aubergine, because I don't like aubergine? It's just a personal thing. Meanwhile, another probe, this time an internal one, 
was reportedly launched last month after it was claimed one of the show's producers has reportedly been accused of having an affair with a contestant during the filming of a spin-off in Barbados. The holiday dating segment pilot, which was fronted by a place in the Sun host Laura Hamilton, saw the senior staff member reportedly having a fling with a contestant during their time in the Caribbean. Although the producer has since resigned, the incident is said to have proven somewhat of an embarrassment for the broadcaster, who promised transparency in the wake of Schofield's departure. A spokesperson for ITV told The Mirror last month, We are unable to comment on the details of any specific employment-related matters. ITV sets out and upholds very clear policies with regards to raising concerns and work-related conduct among star people. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.